Well, welcome to the vlog. Didn't think I was gonna vlog for a while, but I am now. And I'm excited about it. I have a jam-packed day today. Gotta edit a lot of stuff, go to a meeting, and then gotta run 13 miles. It's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> Drink a lot of coffee, but not too much coffee because then you'll be dehydrated for a 13 mile run. Washington DC, Illinois. Hey, don't hit it. No, thank you. Hey, don't touch that. Jump, jump. You want to be in my vlog? Huh? You want to be in the vlog? Do you know what this is? I usually film myself like this. Why, you want a skateboard? Uh huh. I guess it's not the safest thing. Yeah, it's like this situation here. Yeah, this is Grover, by the way. What's up? <laughs> he's at the front desk, and he's like my favorite guy at the front desk. There you go. I haven't told you where I'm going. Formal introduction to my studio. Coming right now. Welcome to my studio. This is Creative Club Chicago. I shoot my YouTube videos in here, so if you've ever wondered where I do like all my talking head stuff, it's this softbox, photo paper, all that good stuff. There's four of us that rent the space, but we co-work. We have people pay for co-working. Hello, hello yeah. friends, hello vlog um, friends. You only have 10 seconds to give life advice. What are you gonna say? Um, oh gosh. Okay, time's up. Oh, man. Did, did you meet Jesse yet? Uh, no, you haven't met Jesse yet. This uh, is Jesse. Oh, how's it going? It's messy right now. That's just kind of how it is during wedding season. I can't begin to say how much this place has drastically changed who I am as a creative person, as a photographer and a filmmaker, because all of the people that work out of here and all the connections I've made for people in this group, they've taught me twice as much of what I knew beforehand. And I'm so indebted to all of them and so grateful for all of them. And I highly encourage you to find community in some capacity to experience that same kind of growth for yourself. Maybe find a place like this where you can work or start a place like this and I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I just used the bathroom. I just peed, like make sure. Don't wash your hands after you use the bathroom. Just wash your, <laughs> wash your hands, yeah. Be a good person, wash your hands. Don't touch door handles, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is our shooting space. It's about 200 square feet. We have photo paper right now. We have black, white, and tan. We have ladders to kind of manipulate the paper. These guys close uh, to bounce light onto the subject because there's natural light coming through this window. South face, excuse me, south facing. So get a lot of sunlight coming in through here, especially winter time, it just like pours in. That's why we have the diffusion curtains because if it's direct sunlight, then you can diffuse it. Then it's nice, even balanced light reflective curtain. It's just a nice setup. We have a console light right here with a huge Octobox. This is the Godox SL200W. It's Mike's, I use it because he's nice and lets me use it. And a lot of storage. This is like, this is all the gear that I use for Mike because he just lets me use it all. Uh, so he does a bunch of commercial work and he lets me use his mics and um, his lights and all that stuff. So thanks Mike. This video is sponsored by Livesign Media. <laughs> So that's our shooting area. Like I showed you before, these are all of our desks. I really almost never work at my desk. That's my desktop that I have other editors work at and stuff. Not all, I, I usually camp out right here and do this um, and just kind of make a mess throughout the day and consolidate it at the end. We just got a new piano. I just suck at piano. We have a bunch of storage up here for random things. We built this kind of standing desk bar stool area for more co-working. And 
We have uh, lockers over here. This is the boosted board section, as you would have with any creative studio. <laughs> the penny board that we use to get to and from the bathroom, because we're lazy like that. And these are our lockers. <laughs> is that a good enough thumbnail right there? Tripods and monopods, and this one, a bunch of random more, for more storage. And our messy kitchen, which we were. We planned on renovating the last like two months. It'll happen, I promise. That's the studio, that's Creative Club Chicago. I'm glad you could come here to, I'm glad you, I'm glad you, I'm glad you're here. Okay. <laughs> This is so serious. <laughs> this place is like my absolute dream place. Looks this like place? they're redoing the roof. Nice. Do you see this? It's like the venue? Look at that. No, it's a it's two condos. See those doors? Jeez. I obviously can't show the inside, but I've definitely peeked in there a few times and it's like 14 no, it's like 20 foot ceilings and industrial and there's like a walkway. I think it's like hipster's paradise. A weird Al Yankovic song right there. <laughs> I think it used to be a fire station. Got the giant yeah, the giant door. Yeah, Have a good one. YouTube. How does it feel to be a famous YouTuber? Didn't that kid well, approach Well, one you? of us is a famous YouTuber. <laughs> he just asked, like, you guys on YouTube? And I'm like, at first I was like, he is. And I'm like, oh wait, I have I guess YouTube I as well. I guess I <laughs> yeah, you gotta get used to starting saying that. Je I'm Jesse, and I'm a filmmaker and a colorist and a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> Alright, man, what's your name? D'Angelo. Oh, I'm gonna shout out D'Angelo here. What's your We've sort of officially announced that we're making a documentary together this yeah. year. We like plugged it on our feeds, but we haven't really like... I haven't really told you guys on YouTube yeah. yet. I've kind of mentioned it, but... We're making a documentary. I'm training for the Chicago Marathon in hopes to qualify for the Boston Marathon. And that's what I'm doing later today. And we're gonna film it. Me probably throwing up my guts. My, I, my, eating really healthy, like my omelet in the morning and this spinach salad because I have to eat really healthy for running. Joy, happy joy, joy. Now it begins, a change happening. Yo, Dave Ramsey just commented on my video. <laughs> I made a video a few weeks back about my buddy Austin uh, and his debt-free journey. Yeah, so I... Went to school, just like everybody else. Dave Ramsey just commented on the video. <laughs> he just said, uh, congrats, great job, Austin. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, like, the one thing. I'd be remiss. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention one of the biggest reasons I'm doing a vlog today. And I'm going to continue to do vlogs the next few weeks. I'm having a workshop. If you saw my last video, the Constant Light video, I announced that my workshop is gonna be October 16th and 17th here in Creative Club Chicago. It's geared towards photographers, primarily wedding photographers, and wedding photographers who are interested in getting uh, into the video game, doing wedding video. I uh, have an announcement to make. I'm having a two-day workshop and in Chicago. At Creative Club Chicago, in my studio, guys, you've been asking for it for a long time. It's happening in Chicago, one of the best places on earth. This workshop is geared towards wedding photographers. We're gonna talk about how I technically shoot weddings, all the ins and outs, lens choices, camera body, editing, all that good stuff. How I get creative with my portraiture, if you ever see my tilt shift, double exposures, working with lights, shooting at night, all that crazy stuff, I'm gonna explain it and how to stay creative throughout the season. I also wanna jump into my philosophy and my approach and my heart of serving my clients. Uh, we might all be crying, it's fine. 
it, it's good. It's good to cry every once in a while. Lastly, part of the workshop is going to be an intro to video. So if you've ever been interested in starting wedding filmmaking, I'm gonna go through all the basics and how to stand out from the crowd while doing that. Now, if you're thinking, I don't wanna go to that because of that aspect with the video, it's only gonna make you a better photographer if you learn the aspects of filmmaking and storytelling, even the basic components of it. And some of these skills will help you to be able to make videos for yourself and market yourself as a, uh, a 21st century Instagram wedding photographer. I hope you can make it out. It'd be an amazing trip if you came to Chicago, if you've never been here before. Come on out, my two day workshop, Creative Club Chicago. Go to the link in my profile, get your ticket. See you there. Okay, mic drop. Now, uh, I'm gonna boost it home and run 13 miles. The guy that I mentioned earlier, Mike, who also owns Creative Club, him and his wife and kids, they're all gonna come over. I'm not gonna be there most of the time because I'm gonna be running, but he's gonna film a little bit of me. I think he's gonna help. I hopefully I don't die, wish me luck. Now it begins. I'm seriously loving this new lens though. I mean, 16 millimeters is a game changer. Look at everything you can see in this picture. I'm back, man. I survived. <laughs> and I, f I figured I would do like a, a closing segment. What up, man? Made it back. <laughs> Full circle, you know. Honey, I'm home. Oh, hey. Welcome home, dear. What the f I'm doing 13 miles at a 6 minute and 30 second pace. And I don't, I'm supposed to do it at that pace, and I don't think I'm going to. I'm pe very pessimistic about it. I think I'll estimate I'll do six to eight miles at that pace and then basically die. Mike's gonna film some of it. There's literally no way. There's no way I can do you 15 that fast. That's the vlog for today. I got a sense for this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If it was any at, at all inspirational, motivational, educational, <laughs> entertaining, anything, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like these vlogs and if I should keep doing them. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything that's going on in my life right now. Biggest reason why I included the run tonight is because I am running the Chicago Marathon this year, trying to qualify for the Boston. But what's so cool about it is I am raising money for World Vision, which is a nonprofit organization that brings clean water to the developing world. It's unbelievably cool. And I'd be honored if you supported me in that. My link to my donation page is in the description. I would be so thankful if you helped me in raising my $3,000 that I've signed up to raise for the race. Love you guys. Don't forget to lean into what makes you different. Peace and blessings. You just gotta keep rolling. <laughs>